ground baits, pellets, wafters, liquids, dyes. There's all sorts of things in the bait world that can blow your mind. I'm here to get rid of those myths and tell you the facts and explain all about some bait. Now, when it comes to wafters, I think we all know that there's plenty of choices out there and plenty of colors. The problem is, which one do you choose? You can see here, I've got a range of the Sony Bates wafters. They come in six, eight, and 10 mil. So not only have you got a size and a flavor, but you've also got a color to choose as well. Now, for me, color is the most important aspect when choosing a wafter. And really, I break it into two distinct groups. First of all, the paler colors. So your whites, your yellows, those sorts of colors, your washed out sort of colors. So you can see here, white, yellow, washed out colors. Now, I think these work better when the water's clear. So if you get to a venue and you can see, I don't know, say 30 centimeters, 50 centimeters into the water, fish will be able to see a long way in that water. They'll be able to pick out colors from a long way. And I always think that the lighter colors seem to work well. Not really sure why, not sure if they see them more easily against the dark bottom, which is what I believe they do, but they obviously pick it out quite easily. So I'll always go for a white sort of color in those conditions. Now, there are venues where yellows or a washed out pink can be more effective, but I don't know those venues. You're going to have to decide that. But a nice starting point would be the white. So if you go for the white and then you can tweak it with a yellow or the washed out throughout the day, you'll be able to get a good idea of what's going on. Then, of course, there's your primary colors. I'm talking about your strong pinks and your orange. Now, orange and pink have caught me so many fish, in particular pink. I've caught a lot of fish on pink recently. I always like pink baits and I always have. I've liked to use pinkies in colored canals, fluoro maggots on a colored river, and it's no different when I'm on a commercial. So if I get to a venue and it's incredibly colored, I know these more primary colors, if you like, the orange and the pink are gonna work well. So this particular one, the six mil krill and squid gets a lot of use for me because of course in here I've got white and I've got pink. So I know when I go to a venue, I've got two very distinct changes in bait to you. So it's a tub that always comes with me. As for the other ones, I know they have their place, but it's all about figuring it out on your venue. So my advice would be figure out if they want the primary color, the white or the pink, first of all. And then once you know if they're into the more primary, deeper colors or the lighter colors, you can then tweak it to help you catch more fish. Take that advice and you'll probably catch more fish on wafters this year.